The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URLradio.net, Stacey Stern. <laughs> and Michael Cash. <laughs> it's a Tim Allen grunt. <laughs> or however it goes. Do you know what this year is? Uh, what 2015 is? We're talking Zodiacs now. Year of the Rat. Fun fact, Year of the Goat. I was actually going to say goat. I think you, you said this. Oh, yeah, because I, I said I that did. me and Brad want to try to get a goat's head, goat skull, <laughs> yeah. and put it upside down in our... It is Year of the Goat. You already have too many dead things in your apartment. Shh. Between the things on the wall and you and Brad, no more dead things. Bro, oh, I'm very much alive. I didn't say it's just you. Those hookers, on the other hand. <laughs> Buried in the wall. <laughs> we can't talk about that. I need, to, I need to bust up the demon tarots again. No, not since I had that terrifying dream. We need to do a tarot card reading. Uh, Henry's not here. Let's wait let's, okay. let's wait till we can get Henry. I found my tarot cards. I do you got, know how excited I am? I got my tarot cards. Oh, I'm so excited. Mine have been missing, though. I use mine on a daily basis. You know, the next time... We get like a psychic or someone. Yeah. Uh, let's get a black magician. <laughs> Not African American, but like one of the dabbles in the dark arts. Okay. Let's get something fun. Oh, so you want, I thought you wanted like an African American no, guy that said, disappears. Not an African American. Like magician, like like pulls a rabbit out of a hat. So I'm David Blaine, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> anyway, here are oh, Zodiac. Ooh, I didn't, did I tell you about that? So we got this new guy that at work, older guy. Okay. And, uh, He's old. Is he older than Father Time? Or is it the same guy you're talking about? No. Okay. He, I think they might be about the same age. But let's, okay. he's not security. Okay. Neither was the other guy talking about. <laughs> but okay. anyways, he, uh, we were closing one night. And he's sitting at the bar and he's drinking, you know, his shift drink. He's mm-hmm. just having, having a little Bud Light. And I'd never really talked to him. But he's got two phones. Okay. Okay, I got two phones too. His ringtone is, wanna be a baller. Shots <laughs> baller. <laughs> I thought that some someone like put it on his phone as a joke. Right. He answers the phone and says, Bitch, I thought I told you not to come in this MF <gasps> phone. I slapped the shit out you. <laughs> White guy, old as balls. And that is when we knew he is a pimp. <laughs> like, man, I listen to everything except country. Oh, Can't stand it. Shit. My God. You we see I knew a couple of the girls you work with were hooking on the side. I think they just finally brought him into the fold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Classic. Okay. Hilarious. So here. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, in that, okay. Another funny ringtone story. When I was working for, I'm doing PR for workers' compensation, which is great. What a great agency to do PR for. Which one? Workers' compensation. Oh. Oh, it's great. Because everybody loves workers' comp. <laughs> You would think they would because they're getting no. paid from them. No. The people that love them never talk about how great workers' comp is. You only see, I was denied. I was denied. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Because you filled out a quarter of your paperwork. How about you finish filling it out? Do, are they the same people that complain that they got denied to go into, I don't know, Harvard or Yale? <laughs> Despite having a 2.5 GPA? <laughs> oh, and my multiple, God. And multiple arrests? Mm-hmm. Why is your paperwork so hard to fill out? It's really not. It's one form. You have to fill out one form. Oh, and and you can't comment on cases either. Why you denied people? Because HIPAA violations. Mm-hmm. So there you are. You're just like we have no comment on this. So then of course you look like the bad guy when you say we have no comment. I switched it to we can't comment on cases because of HIPAA violations. And it made us look a little bit better. That was my big con- contribution to the state of North. <laughs> Where's the ringtone coming into play? Okay, so we're sitting in a in a meeting with all the executives. It's like the the top four people in workers' compensation. They're pretty important. Big people. four. The big four, big four or five, and workers and me, because <laughs> they always had me in there just to like I don't know comic relief. So I'd sit in these meetings, and um, all of a sudden, pink, you and your hand goes off. <laughs> it's the president of workers' comp. God, what? <laughs> it's, it was his phone. God. He goes, I got to get this. It's my wife. <laughs> wow. That is, that's awesome. <laughs> and nobody else got it because all these other people are like older people. They didn't get the song. And I just snickered and he looked over at me and he shook his head. I'm like, oh. It's like, was it uh, Paul Blart? Mm-hmm. Chewing on my bubble gum. <laughs> I'm the kind of girl you want to chew on my bubble gum. 
Okay, so anyways, Zodiac Signs in Bed. Can you find that song and give that to me as a ringtone? No, I've tried to find it. I wanted it for my ringtone. I couldn't is find it a real it. song? Yeah. I couldn't find it well, anywhere. Let's find the song. You can turn it into a ringtone. There's a program. You can, there's an app for that. I can't find the actual song, though, either. Oh, shit. I know. Okay, so Zodiac Signs in Bed. Capricorns. If you are hooking up with a Capricorn, Capricorns are loving, sensual, shy, and goal-oriented. What months are Capricorns again? I really don't know. Is that January? I have no idea. Yes, it is, because these always start January. Okay. It's like January, whatever, to February, whatever. Um, Capricorns are loving, sensual, shy, and goal-oriented. These core characteristics make it a more reserved type of lover. They like to go slow and prefer more foreplay than other signs. It's rare for them to be adventurous, and you'll have to convince them if you want to do any experimenting. Okay, Aquarius is... Nothing a little alcohol won't solve. <laughs> Aquarius is. This is the dawning of the age The mantra of or key life phrase of Aquarius is, I progress. Aquarians normally have open minds and are very unpredictable. As such, it comes as no surprise that Aquarians are into unpredictable romance and wild physical passion. People born under the side will take pleasure in anything futuristic, progressive, or risque. I'm, I'm Aquarius. My motto is more like, I digress. <laughs> Mainly because I'm talking to idiots all the time. It's your trophies. Well, I suppose no matter where you are, yeah, you are the smartest person in the world. I am the smartest person in the so, world. Yeah. Okay. So is this pretty much you, do you think, Aquarius? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Pisces. Minus the romance thing. There was nothing in there about romance. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Unpredictable romance, which often means none. Good. And wild physical passion. Okay, Pisces. Pisces are known to be easygoing. Even to a fault. It's not uncommon for these people to get a little lazy when they're in bed. <laughs> Pisces doesn't like to be pursuers, so they prefer their partners to be the aggressor. They sound sort of lame. They're not adventurous. What month? They're would not that ambitious. Be, that'd, be that'd be February. Uh, like um, that would be like February, the, March. Yeah. Remind me to never. No, it would be like because Aquarius would be like Isn't February like to March. It would be like March to April. Okay. Yeah. Remind me to stay away from Pisces. Okay. First question on a blind date. Are you Pisces? Pisces? <laughs> Next. Aries. Do you even lift? <laughs> Do you even date? No. no. Aries. This brings me to the speed date thing. I would probably just go to speed date just for the fun of going to speed date. We hosted speed dating. Did you? How Was it horrible? Was it just yeah, a it disaster? Yeah, it was so a disaster. awesome. Okay. Aries. Loves to take control. And like, here, kids, here's a problem. Everybody was like you that came. Just wanted to do it for fun. Oh, okay. So nobody actually matched up. That sucks. Yeah, it sucked. Because let's say, I mean, would you honestly date somebody at speed dating? Because none of these people did. Probably not. They'd have so to be that's like the last Stacey time. Sturm or something. That was the last time we hosted speed dating. Is there a speed date in Bismarck? No. Yeah. For that reason. <laughs> now I know why. I'm like, how come they don't do more speed dating? I've seen a couple events. We now know. Okay, Aries. I guess yeah. Bucks is speed dating. <laughs> no, that's called one night stands. It's different. Same thing. There's no dating involved at all. It's speed dancing. Speed twerking. Aries. Aries loves to take control and be in high adrenaline experiences. Aries are ready to go at any time of the day. They are usually great kissers. However, they're selfish and their sexual desires are short-lived. What does that mean? Like, ooh, I really want you. No, no, I'm done. Yeah. I don't care Hit it anymore. and quit it? Not even. I don't even think they get to the hit apart. They're like, ooh, do you know what would be hot, baby? Yeah, I'm done. I'm going to go watch the news. <laughs> <laughs> Can I watch it with you? No. Nope. Sorry. Next, Taurus. Taurus is possibly the best when it comes to sex. They know instinctually what their partner needs. They have enormous sex drives, but they love intimacy. A Taurus will take their time and enjoy everything that's happening in the moment. Gemini. Shitty cars, though. <laughs> Geminis Geminis are masters of flirtation And love mental stimulation Geminis will often use their creativity To keep things exciting in bed They're masters of flirtation And they want to make sure That their affection is reciprocated Cancer Most emotional sign is cancer People of this sign need to feel love In order to get in the mood They get attached very easily Romantic lighting, 
touching, atmosphere, anything else that would remind a person that you are in love with them would be the way to go with cancer. So no Pisces, no cancers. <laughs> Don't want the cancer. Nobody wants the cancer. Leo, probably the best match for Pisces. Leos are passionate and sexually confident. They like to take charge, and they like people that don't like to take charge. They're exploring different ways of experiencing sexual pleasure. They're some of the best lovers of the Zodiac, but they need attention first. Lame. Virgo. Virgos are known for being perfectionists, and they're going to ask a lot of their mate. You can fulfill a Virgo's needs, and then they will repay you generously for it. Virgo's the virgin, right? Yeah. Okay. They're also known to enjoy things a little bit on the wilder side of the spectrum. Hmm. Libra. No, you wouldn't like they are being known for being perfectionists and ask a lot of their mate. I am a perfectionist. Why do you think I don't date? <laughs> <laughs> but they ask a lot of their mate. Yes, perfection. No, you don't want to be held accountable to anything. I held, hold myself accountable to myself. <laughs> no, you don't. I sure do. <laughs> Just my, to yourself. But my if, standards. If somebody else insisted you do something to their standards... There'd be no problem because my standards will be higher. <laughs> and you want to lower your standards to please the Virgo? No, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to date a Virgo. No, I don't say, I, I think you're right until they ask a lot of their mate. I don't think you really want people to ask anything of you. Ask what you want. You ain't going to get it. Yep. Never going to get it. Never going to get it. <laughs> You'll never get this. You'll never get oh, this. Oh, God. <laughs> Bor- Borat was on TV the other night. I watched it. Why would you watch it on TV? I was just flipping through the channels. I'm like, shut the front door, Borat's on. It had to be like it. five minutes long. <laughs> no. They actually, it was on Comedy Central, so they kept a lot of the stuff in there. Okay, next. The Libra. naked wrestling match? They left. The only thing they blurbed out was their assholes. <laughs> Everything else was in <laughs> that there. Is one their assholes in their front. The most. Awkward things ever. But Disgusting. hilarious. So, oh my God. I know. <laughs> okay, Libra. Libras love romance, fulfilling fantasies, and experimenting. Because when it comes down to it, a Libra likes to be playful in bed, but you have to be in a relationship with a Libra to get that out of them. Scorpio. Scorpios are the most adventurous when it comes to sexual conquest. They will always push the envelope. They are known for taking the lead and enjoying being the seducer. And then the last one is Sagittarius. They're essentially a combination of Gemini, Libra, and Aries. These people love to be playful and creative, but will be quickly become bored and want to move on to the next thing. They can be extremely passionate, and their desires are short-lived, though. Sagittarius will usually want to keep things lighthearted and fun, nothing too serious. So there you go. What are you again? I'm a Taurus. So you're the the crappy car? (laughs) I'm the crappy car. (laughs) No, I had a great one until you threw in crappy car. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Why would they name the Taurus? Taurus are possibly the best of the best when it comes to sex. They know instinctually what their partner wants and needs. They have enormous sex drives, but love intimacy. Basically, what the saying is is humans are prudes, whores, or psychics in the bedroom. I tend to be all three, I guess. But no, just two. The prude is the only one, apparently, that does not apply to Tauruses. So there you go. But it is a shitty car. It was a shitty car, I admit that. All right, coming up, let's see. Rock Rangers show in at four and your requests all day. Let me know what you want to hear. Email me, Stacy at URLradio.net. That's S T A C Y, no E, at URLradio.net. Thanks for coming in today, Cashy. You, blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you Thursday. Maybe. We'll see. All right, everybody have a great afternoon. See what my standards for the day are. <laughs>